Believe it or not, there's still a lot of you guys who are asking me about the greenhouse and heating it or putting things in a garage. You have trees in your basement. Keep your fig trees, guys, above 20 degrees Fahrenheit and below 50. Tonight, we're gonna be down to eight degrees. And the greenhouse here does a real nice job of protecting them, but only if I heat it. Now, the greenhouse is so um, minimal in its insulation that I barely get any kind of uh, heat from this thing. Yeah, sure, during the day, this thing warms up. But at nighttime, that heat is lost almost instantly because it's not insulated very well. It's very thin plastic. It maybe provides me two degrees of insulation. Um, so if it's zero degrees outside, this is two degrees. Now the tarp is doing wonders because that gives me about eight degrees of insulation, believe it or not, because the heat rises and mostly escapes through the ceiling, through the roof here. Now I'm gonna come out here when it's below 20 because I only turn this thing on, believe it or not, when uh, the temperatures are below 20. So I have this new air heater down here. I've done a review on this. Yes, this is a promoted product, but I highly recommend getting this product. It really puts out a nice heat that even though the engineers on my channel that watch my channel guys, I obviously respect your opinion, but I'm telling you this thing puts out a heat that doesn't drop the humidity nearly as much as other heaters that I've tried. It's a pleasant heat and it's not drying out the trees that it's directly in contact with. It's barely drying out the soil. And you know what? I've also really haven't had much use for it as of yet because we've had a pretty mild winter. And a lot of you guys are asking me, when do I turn this thing on? Well, I turn it on when temperatures are going to be dropping below 20. We haven't had many of those nights yet. So tonight I'm going to come out here. We're going to turn it on. The nice thing about the new air heater here is that you can hit the power button and you can turn it on for the number of hours that you want. So if it's gonna be cold for seven hours, you leave it on for seven hours, it shuts itself off. You don't have to worry about it. Um, I have this link, guys, down in the description of this video. If you wanna pick up one of these heaters, it does support me, but you can also get a really nice discount code on that heater. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's kind of it, guys, right? That's kind of what I'm trying to get at here is that you want to keep this thing below 50, right? There's also a setting on here, right? This is the current temperature, right? It's 32 degrees. I can set the temperature to whatever I want, right? 77 degrees. I don't want 77 degrees. I want it all the way down to 50, right? And that's what I'll do every single night I'll come out here. Just make sure this thing doesn't get above 50. It goes on when temperatures are below 50 and it'll be on for the amount of time that I want. Now, if you have a situation, cause I also want to mention this, you got a situation now where your trees are waking up. A lot of you guys have them in the basement for whatever reason and thought this was a good idea. Put them somewhere cold so they're not going to grow. A lot of you guys want to grow them under lights. I don't recommend that. If you have no other choice but to grow them under lights and get them started now, some people obviously do that, but it's so early in the season that you're going to get a lot of growth that's very thin, very straggly. It's going to break very easily. It's not going to fruit very well for you. Put it somewhere cold so the metabolism of these trees are going to slow down, and that'll be the end of it, right? Underneath my sunroom. It stays well below 50 in here and stays above 25, actually. It's a really nice little root cellar type thing that I've got going on that it doesn't drop very low. And all that heat gets trapped above. It gets trapped on that wood and stays in here. And because it's, it's all enclosed, it's insulated pretty well, you don't really have to heat it because the earth is providing that heat. Put it in your garage, and if you have a garage, which a lot of you guys are even asking me, if you have you have a garage and you're still clueless, go out there and get yourself a heater and just turn that thing on. And if you can't get yourself a heater, move the pot somewhere for a day or two, right? 
it's gonna get down to below freezing where you guys live or it's gonna get below zero degrees where you guys live for me it's gonna get to eight degrees take the trees and put them in the house or put them somewhere so that you can avoid those low temperatures the garage is only going to insulate these things so well just like this little root cellar type thing that i've got here this only does it so much so you got to choose your battles right you don't want them to wake up but you got to come out here anyway and do this right you, 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 it's like all right you don't want them to wake up but they're going to die so you don't want them to die. So at least put them somewhere in the meantime. And fig trees are very forgiving in this way. They take a long time to wake up. You can have them at 50 degrees, 55 degrees for a couple days, maybe five, six days, and then you should start getting worried. But otherwise, uh, you should be all right, you know? Put them right back in cold storage and it'll be like nothing ever happened. You know, they don't have chill hours. They don't need a dormancy period. I mean, I get so many questions and I feel like I've done this video hundreds of times. So anyway, that's kind of the update for the greenhouse. That's kind of the update for what you guys should be doing with your potted fig trees at this point. You know, the roots, the roots of these trees, guys, is what you need to worry about. That if it drops below 17 degrees on the roots, they'll start to take damage. So anyway guys i highly i highly suggest you invest in some kind of storage area for them really figure this out because if you're going to get a fig tree this is like priority number one all right guys i'll talk to you all soon i'll see you tomorrow uh you guys can follow me on facebook instagram and twitter now for those of you who didn't know and we also have just created a website rossratty.com uh, rossratty.weebly.com excuse me guys We'll put that link, all those links down in the description. If you guys want to follow me more on those forms of social media, on the website, we're doing a blog that's more long form, more information like this. And uh, I'll catch you all next time, all right? Take care.